Right, here we are with JR's uh, GT, and we are going to verify that. We've got very good news for you. <laughs> MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. <laughs> right. Another happy client. JR's 1966 Mustang, I believe, GT convertible. We will see. You can get attention with a knife. Uh, on the face of the telltale signs that this thing is a legitimate real GT because we discovered that essentially there was a lot of little styling cues that they had with the GT that made it what it was versus, you know, over the just the appearance packages that they offered it at the time as well. Um, right over here. At this piece right here where they put the wire through to the GT lights, it is dimple. It's not a clean drilled hole as you can tell there. So that's one of the telltale signs, considering most of the time when anybody would do aftermarket, it would just be a cleanly drilled hole and not... With a rubber grommet. With a rubber grommet, as Robert these says, are, yes. These are pressed and rolled, so it's just straight steel right there. Also, we got um, some neat features. It's got factory air conditioning. Ignore me. Four-barrel carburetor. Disc brake master. Huge single port master. A portion valve. Way down here. Let me see if I can get in there. Yeah, you can see it. All right, guys, ready? Right here we go. Let's video this. JR, it's Robert, Will, Alex, and Taylor, and we've got very good news. She is, I repeat, she is a, a real GT. A real GT, my friend. Cha Ching, if you know what that means. Anyway, I'm videoing you on the phone while I'm on video. So you can watch yourself, me talking to you on your phone on video tonight. Videoception. It's a first. Videoception. Yeah. I like that. Is it like this? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Videoception? Videoception. Okay, do it. Robert, videoception. Video my phone. Oh, man. Anyway, boom. There it is. You got a real GT. Ow. Woo. Boom. Keep going. What are you doing, guys? Keep going. Putting on. And then down here, as we stated, with the master cylinder, real factory disc brakes. These are not aftermarket like what we usually recommend. These are legitimate real not, ones. Not a conversion. Exactly. Oh, one more thing, if you want to come back to the engine bay. Power steering pump is a quick ratio. Steering box. Steering box. Thank you, sir. Got a little sidetracked. The tag there. right on the box. There's a tag right down there. We just cleaned it off. You can kind of see it. It's hard to see. Keep going. Keep going. Right, that, right there on that tag that you see next to that line. What's the code again? It was HCC-AW. That means it's a yeah, it's a HCC-AW, which is the code for the power steering quick ratio steering box. That's another GT thing right there. Alrighty, moving on. Another thing to point out, brake pedal coming round. The brake pedal says disc brake on it. And that is a factory thing there, people. Okay. As Robert said, this rally pack here is aftermarket, but it was added. Oh, it might, have been. might actually I take that back, might be. Might be is the keyword. Thank you, Robert. Because some of the wiring does have aftermarket uh, barrel connectors. Okay. But that could have been a repair. Exactly. We don't know. But but you know, the fog light switch is factory. All factory barrel connectors, all the wiring to it is factory spec. So that is yet another telltale sign, along with everything else that we've shown so far. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration.